back welcome to the course of unix for testers which covers all unix concepts required for testing system which contain your unix operations and uh, i'm going to cover in this video like how we can automate all those processes unix processes in your test automation framework so that we can have complete test uh, end to end test automation okay so now uh, what are the manuals and automated process in uh, unix okay so if you're on, if you're working on unix you might have some systems like uh, uh, they, they just need to uh, execute the shell script okay and based on the shell script something else is getting triggered and you want to verify again outputs of that another system or another scripts let us say or you want to verify the same screen after your shell scripts has has been executed something like that or you may have something like some file processing system where you are sending files to unix server unix server is processing and then you want to verify again the file which is processed by your shell script something like that okay so whatever operations what and all operations you do in your uh, manual process okay so you can have like you 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 might need to execute various unix commands manually like changing the directory go to this particular directory then load the file into that specific directory or download file from that specific directory or even execute the shell scripts manually right so to 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 do all these operations what we do is we uh, basically use some ssh clients like putty or um, uh, any any other ssh clients or uh, to, to do ftp operations file transfer operations we use vnscp okay so uh for manual process we use uh, this couple of tools okay uh so this are, so these are some manual processes basically which we used uh whenever we have some unix operation in our end-to-end -end testing process now let us say i want to automate the complete process let us say i have some web application where i'm going uh, I'm, I'm feeding up some data and based on that data as soon as i hit enter or so something like or uh I fit the data, then I want to trigger that particular script, then it will generate some file for me, uh, let us say text file for me, and I want to verify the text file, or as soon as the script get triggered, it, it is going to update some uh, screens, and I want to verify those screens, something like that, it can be anything, okay. So basically, you have uh, some uh, SSH operations, which we perform SSH operations, and some FTP operations, if you have anything in your manual process, then we can automate them okay so we all know we can use uh, selenium for performing test automation of your web applications and even if you have some operations like you if you want to deal with excel if you want to deal with text files or even if you want to deal with uh some pdf files or maybe some uh but I can say anything okay so basically uh, what I wanted to say is basically Java is compatible with most of the things and you can find libraries for most of the things like right? so we cannot say like okay I cannot uh, in, uh, I, I cannot integrate the automation of putty uh, or let us say um, Phoenix server whatever I'm doing on Unix server I cannot automate those things and uh, combine them with my selenium test automation framework that's not the case we can definitely do that and it will work very much perfectly okay so uh, whatever uh, manual processes I just talked over here or there can be any other manual processes your project specific might be right so all those Unix processes can be automated with the help of uh, any ssh client library okay so basically we uh, there are many ssh client libraries uh, which are specific to your languages like for java there is some set of libraries for uh, if you are using c sharp there is some set of libraries which uh, which uh, helps you to interact with your unix server via ssh okay so by using these libraries okay so in this uh, for this course i'm going to use java and in java there is some library called a jsch in java basically there are four to five libraries but this, but this jsch is one of the best library and the famous one so i have picked it so i can use that library in order to automate all these processes okay so uh, yeah, so that's what so in this video That's what I wanted to tell you like we have some manual processes and how we can automate those manual processes using uh, some uh, Like by, by writing some automation code with the help of SSH client libraries, okay, so finally